We're back to taking a look at the 2024 recruiting class, and today we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star running back Dylan Jones, who is signed with the Wisconsin Badgers. We're going to take a look at his highlights. We're going to take a look at the scouting reports on 24-7 Sports and take a look at an ON3 to get a good idea what Dylan Jones is about. Before we dig in, though, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're going deep on the 2024 recruiting class every single day of the offseason so you can get a good idea of what these freshmen are looking like who are signing with your favorite college team. Click that button. Stop missing out. But we're going to read up on Dylan Jones real quick here. If you're here for just the highlights, just fast forward a couple minutes. I'm going to try and make this brief. But he is a four-star prospect in both the composite and in the initial rankings here. They, in the rankings, they got him as RB8. In the composite, they got him as RB12. That is important to note because we do have a little bit of a disparity there. He signed on National Signing Day here on 1220. 5'11", 180 pounds. But take a look at the highlights when we look at him. Look at his build. Look at his frame. Because a lot of times these listings are old. And a lot of these players gain weight during this offseason right now even. And even in the offseason prior to their senior year. Class of 2024 as we know. But I like to look at the offers. That is my favorite indicator in all, the whole process here in recruiting. Is the offers. 31 offers. And over here to the side. We're seeing some legit Power 5 schools, and I guarantee if we see view the complete list, we're going to see a lot more. That being said, college football wanted him. College football said, hey, he's good. He's good enough to compete at the Power 5 level. He's good enough to compete at the SEC level, as we're seeing here at the top with Auburn and Arkansas, which means we got a valid prospect here to look at, and we're going to be looking at some talent here. The scouting report has him projected as a 4th to 7th round pick, interesting there but you know what your whole collegiate career is going to change that one way or another has the combination of size speed to be a high level running back at a major college football program so good size adjusted athleticism that being said home run hitter more than likely more than likely going to have some power verified five foot 11 185 pounds ability to add size and strength that's one thing you got to note with these prospects can easily be at 210 pounds that they're going to get bigger and the time for them to gain size is like now and the early part of their collegiate career so honestly just look at this of what you're seeing now is a stepping stone to more looks like he runs in the four sixes but is quick to accelerate Again, four sixes now means he could be four fives, four fours later. Garrett Wilson ran the four threes and ran the four sixes. That's a weird comparison, but that's what came off my head right now. Again, when you're looking at those times, you either want to look at the, the verified track times, and when you look at the 40s, you kind of want to take them with a grain of salt because you know they're going to change massively between now and the combine if we get to that part. So looking at him, we're seeing a guy who will not be tracked down easily, it looks like he's tough to tackle. It looks like we got some speed. Second level allows short runs to turn into big plays. So we've got a guy who's pretty explosive here who can really maximize his output. I recommend you going back to 24-7 Sports. I'll try to link it below so you can take a look at the whole scouting report. Also wrestles and has competitive track and field events. So again, he's a multi-sport athlete. He's going to have good balance since he wrestles. Probably going to see good footwork on the tape. More than likely, which is good to see. Looking at the timeline here as we scroll down, Wisconsin, he signed with Wisconsin on December 20th, visited them in June, committed in July. He's been with them for a good bit, locked and loaded there. He also had visits with Penn State, Maryland. Looked like he was really wanting to go to a Big Ten program. Went with Wisconsin, and Wisconsin has a history of churning out running backs. So that's something good to see here. Braylon Allen's going to be leaving for the draft. So we got an open spot here. And looking at 0-3, on-3, however you want to call them, four-star prospect, RB16 in their rankings. RB12 actually up the top here. They got him at 16 down here below. So however you want to chalk that up a bit. But we got a disparity because RB15 with rivals, RB8 with 24-7, RB7 with ESPN. So the recruiting sites are saying, hey, 
we like him. The other recruiting sites are saying, hey, we kind of like him. That being said, you be the judge on the highlights. You be the judge with what you see. Let us know in the comments below if you know anything about him, if you've been studying him, if you're a Wisconsin fan. Let us know. We're here to learn about these players. We're here to get a better grasp of what these freshmen are going to look like coming to their new college program. But let's take a look here. We have nine minutes of highlights. It's been a bit since I put these together, so I really don't remember what I saw here when I first clipped them together. But let's take a look. I'm seeing some size. I'm seeing a good frame instantly. I'm seeing a frame that could easily add more. And I don't understand why he's just a buck 85 in this. I'm seeing a good thick hamstring back there. I'm seeing some power. I'm seeing some burst. And if I remember right, the start's his senior highlights. And then it's clipped with his junior highlights. So might be thicker now than what was listed previously. And that's a good indicator. With 24-7 sports 0-3, not having up to date. I can definitely see a difference in play to play here. So imagine I got a few plays of the senior highlights and a few plays of the junior highlights. I got it all sprinkled in together. But I'm seeing power, and I'm also seeing some bursts in the second level. Haven't seen a large enough sample to gauge speed. Just some plays, you just can't get a good read on it due to angles, and I want to see all the angles before I really make a good read. We got power at the point of contact here. And you do see some burst. And so far, more than fast enough. But I want to see more of a sample of long plays before I really get a good gauge on that. I don't want to come off off the rim and say, hey, slower, he's fast. That, if that makes sense. But he's got good feet. Like I was guessing, he was going to have good balance and contact balance at the point of contact. He's a wrestler, which was a good indicator to me that he's going to be aggressive. That he's not going to be worried about contact, which I don't think many of these running backs are. But he's going to have a different ignition switch when it comes to that. And he's got some power. He looks like a Wisconsin running back. Getting it up the gut and dragging guys. I can see why 24-7 Sports likes him. I'm trying to figure out why 0-3 on 3, whatever you want to call him, has him ranked lower. We're seeing some good vision here and explosiveness. Long speed, I want to see more. I'm not going to go all in on that. I'm seeing great footwork. Like I guess from the scouting report, good footwork. And he's got good balance and good feet. Good Look at that at the block too. Very good running back prospect so far. They're splitting them out. We're going to catch the ball out of the backfield. You're not going to be doing too much of that, Wisconsin. He loves contact. He's good at embracing contact. We got a good banger between the tackles, at least. Nice spin move, good feet. I'm not seeing many opportunities to showcase the long speed. But we're seeing him in the second level there. We got good pop to step, even with guys on him. Just right off there on that play. Boom, good vision. Good balance gets low quick. He's going to be competing at the college level pretty good. He is. He's pulling away a little bit there at the end. I say we're fast. I, I We're definitely not a burner here. Definitely not a burner. But we're pulling away a little bit on the end of these runs. It's good enough for me because I'm seeing the vision and I'm seeing good contact balance. I'm seeing him break tackles here. Definitely see how we can win. And there we go. We got a little bit more pop there. Like, like again, run the run. You're just going to have to analyze each one. And we're seeing a little bit more pop there. Definitely see where he was or used to be 185 on some of these. And definitely where he, he's bigger. He definitely has the frame to be 210 or so, like they said. Maybe even a little bigger than that. And how he plays and his movement skills, 210, 215, he'd be all right. But you may want to stay around the 210, 215 range. I don't know. Honestly, he's got good pop. He's got an all right good pop in a second level. I love his vision. I love the dead leg. I love the balance. I was just guessing on the balance when I saw he was a wrestler. I just knew that was a good intangible if that was being noted. 
and you're still wrestling when you're this big of a recruit, you had to be putting hours on the mat. And if you're putting hours on the mat, then you're going to have some sweet feet and have good movement skills. And he does. Good natural movement skills, braces contact, good vision, aggressive, assertive. A l thickness in the legs already, like in that at the high school level. I think he's going to be doing big things at Wisconsin. I think you're going to see him break some runs over the middle. I think he's going to be getting some opportunities here. He's very assertive as well. He reads the flow of the momentum around him very good. Quick to get a field. I think he's faster than what he looks on tape here in the huddle. I think he is because he's also breaking off different angles. And now we're kicking it up. You see that? You see that? Because he moves laterally very well. He's spinning off, breaking off tackles. And a lot of this is him creating. And then after the creation, you got to wait for that ramp up period. And now we're pulling away. Like I said, you got to wait some time and get a bigger sample to gauge the speed. I think he can, once he puts on more size, he can put on size and probably will. And he's already doing it. He's going to be a good running back. He is a good running back. I like him. I can see where 24-7 sports likes him. I can definitely see that. I can see why... I can't really see why On3 doesn't like him too much. Well, they do like him. He's ranked pretty good there. Once we get deeper into this running back class, we'll probably get a good, better understanding. But look at him. Look at the contact balance. He is gritty. Very gritty running back prospect. Look at him go. That's a Wisconsin running back. That is the perfect fit. He's got great feet. Look at that move with the feet there. Selling the outside going back in. Or vice versa, however you want to call it. He's got some speed at the top of the runs. We'll definitely see that when he pulls away. We've seen that like four or five of them. Here we go. That's a tight crease there. Bam. And then you saw the shoulder fake to the outside. We're seeing him create separation on that run. I think things are looking good here. I think we got a very quiet running back prospect that not many people are really talking about too much. And I think since he's not super flashy and he's more gritty, and that's why. But this is a very good running back prospect here. We got him go. He's, he was going to kick it inside, but it's too close to the sideline. And he was covered pretty much. Finds that hole. That was a tighter crease. Decent size, though. Definitely can see creases like that at Wisconsin. Definitely can see that. I think he's looking good. I think he's looking very good here. Fun running back prospect here. I like him. I like him a lot. Up the gut. Look at that. Good feet. Spins out. Excellent contact balance. Contact balance, vision, footwork. On top of what he's got, and that's good enough to compete at the next level. That's good enough, and he builds on that. We might have something here. I know I sound very hyped up on all these prospects, but it is highlights. But look at the feet here. He does have movement skills, and he can chain together moves a lot different compared to a lot of other running backs that we've looked at so far. And then combine that against other years that we've watched running backs. He moves laterally well, has excellent vision. Going towards the line of scrimmage on his, on his approach and then in the second level as well. And his approach in the second level, him just creating misses and him changing angles. You really got to watch a lot of his tape to get a good gauge on that top end speed. Because he operates through trash really well. Being able to operate through trash that's good is a great skill. Gets out. Guy's just hanging off him. That's it. Dylan Jones. Sneaky running back prospect. Sneaky. He's super gritty. Super lunch pail guy. He'll run through you. He'll run around you. Contact balance for days. We guessed that from the scouting report. We saw him as a wrestler. We do not get many running backs who wrestle. We do not get that noted, at least, 
on the scouting reports. That was a good indication of that. Very assertive at the point of contact. Good top end speed. I think he's good enough to get the job done for sure. We saw some plays there where he was creating separation on the top end. And he does a lot through trash. He does a lot. He showed a lot through trash. I'm sure a lot of other running backs can. But on their tape, it just doesn't show them. They get a good crease and they're gone. And he has to work through trash on a lot of these highlights. And he does well because he has good vision. Good vision in the approach to the line of scrimmage. And then also in the second level. And then he can break off runs laterally very well. Keeping good balance and then able to spin out of tackles, good contact balance, able to get you more on that run, squeezing more juice out of that turnip compared to a lot of other runners out there. Because of that contact balance, because of that aggressiveness, he's able to get you more yards per chunk play than a lot of other running backs when things are almost dead when he's operating through trash. I like that about his game. Dylan Jones is a guy who's on the rise. He's a guy that you need to pay attention to here over the next couple months, couple years as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. When you hear about it, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.